Okay, so in the last video, we managed to get the player animating and facing left and right. One thing we didn't do was to have no animation when the player or the user is pressing two keys, so left and right at the same time. And there are multiple ways we can fix that. First off, we can probably copy this line here and then stick it here. That, that will fix it. Um, but I like to keep my animations and my movements together. So what I'm going to do is create a fairly complicated if statement, um, which looks something like this. So what I'm saying is if left and right is not being pressed, so basically if either left or right is being pressed and left and right isn't being pressed at the same time, then you can play run. So if it is being pressed at the same time, play idle, if that makes sense. Um, let's see if that works. I mean, I, I know it's going to work because I've tested it before, but let me just show you that it does work. So I'm pressing right, pressing left, pressing left and right, nothing. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and do the next things. Let us now add some jumping into the mix. So first off, what I'm going to do is add a final const called gravity. I'm going to kind of make up my own gravity here um, instead of going ahead with a, phys a physics engine because it's quicker to do that. So this number 600 is just an integer. It's something that I've kind of figured out with trial and error, but you, you of course, can make up whatever number you want. The lower the number, the more floaty the jump. The higher the number, the, the less floaty the jump, basically. So I've added this integer here. Um, and what I'm going to do now is kind of set a constant gravity just for the player. And I'm going to use acceleration. So the, um, the player, let's just copy and paste this because I know my spelling is atrocious. So the player, right, with acceleration, is kind of constantly moving down faster and faster at a rate of 600 um, pixels, I think. I don't know, 600, 600 pixels per, per frame, whatever the frame calculation is. Um, so if the player jumps, if you make the jump kind of opposite that, so like minus value, it will jump with acceleration and then have the natural acceleration that I've put here, 600, push it down. So let's do that here. Let's add a final jump. And we're going to make it the, the same as these. So I've, I've kind of made it two spaces for a reason. Actually, let's, let's just do it like this for now. Okay, so there are multiple ways people can jump, as in multiple ways players like to jump. So we're going to have a lot of buttons here. First, we'll save the up key, because people like using the up. People also like using the space the space bar, also the W. So you've got three ways of jumping. Um, so now what we're going to do is have an if statement. So we are going to say if uh, jump has been pressed, so if the player, if the user has pressed jump, and the player is touching FLX objects floor. Right, I'm going to try my best to explain what's going on here. So jumping, you know that bit. If the person jump and the player is, it should be yeah, the player is touching the floor. So is touching is is a I think is a method or is it a function? It's a function that comes with the FLX sprites, and what it does is it will check if if the player the sprite in in the context is touching something, so it's colliding with something. So this floor similar to left and right here is it's just a number we don't know. I'm not very I'm not very well versed on, on what goes on with these FLX objects. Um, I don't know how it works, but somehow it, it checks if if the player is touching. The lowest most part of the level. Actually, no, not the lowest most part. If the player is touching something um, that's beneath it. So if the player, the bottom is touching something that's at the bottom of it, then it, that this will be true, or this this will be a this will be a number, which is that. I don't know how it works, but yeah, if it does, then it's be true. And if it's if the player has pressed the jump button and this is true, then what I want the player to do is have a velocity velocity y of I think this is like 400 or something, but I'm going to be really, really clever and just say gravity divided by 1.5. I think 600 divided by 1.5 is 400. So yeah, I was right there. But it's nice to have that kind of um, varying calculation so that if the gravity does change, um, the kind of jumping push will change accordingly. So this is going to push at, it should be minus, it's going to push at minus, um, what do you call it? Minus 400. And then at some point, so it pushed really hard with the velocity, with the velocity, 
then at some point the acceleration will push it down. So I hope that makes a lot of sense. Let's see if that works. Okay. So here, gravity's growing, that's perfect. And then the player just falls through. That is my fault, let's fix that now. So first let's add some collision and it's not difficult to add collision. It's um, what I'm gonna do in this level is gonna add kind of collisions to all the edges here. So top, button, left and right, we'll have, we'll have collisions and they'll be kind of like world collisions. So I'll try my best to explain what's going on there as well. It's, it's quite difficult. Um, so first let's make a variable called level bounds. This will be the boundaries. Um, and that'll be unassigned, so it'll be nothing at the moment. It'll be unknown. Uh, yeah, it'll be unknown. And then um, let's, inside here, make this, I know my spelling's bad. Make this equal. FLX collision. Will that intelligence for me? No, come on. Collision. No, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. This is quite annoying. Okay, create. Oh, let's get into it. No, it's not doing it. It doesn't like me today. Okay, so create camera wall. FLX G. What is going on here? It should just do it with smashly. This is gonna be this is not gonna be fun basically. Um camera. Let me try and figure out what's going on here because it would be very helpful for you to kind of see um see what kind of things the effortless collision provides. So first this was meant to import, didn't it? So I'll do it manually. Um and FLX collision, I'm not sure where that comes from. Let's see if it will flick so dots. I don't know. Collision, no, FLX, curly, no, Ugh, this is this is so annoying. Um, I'm gonna have to stop the video here and then try and figure out why this isn't happening. Um, this was there wasn't meant to be a part four to this, um, but sorry, a part five. Unfortunately, there has to be. So stick with me. I'm gonna try and get to the bottom of my um, intelligence because I obviously can't work without it. Um, and I'll come back to you in a second. So thanks for watching.